do you want to do this real quick? How loud? How loud are your pre masters when you send them to to mastering? People always ask this question. How how so, loud should my shit be? It it it, it varies. Um, I think I was uh, for this last one. My my reference masters were um, uh, the reference masters were about I would say between nine and ten. Luffs. Meaning that's what you were sending out to pe for people to listen to. No, that was just the okay. So that was the 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 limited version was coming at at nine or ten. And what what he was getting? So let's say the mastering engineer it, Joe. Joe, yeah, Laporta. Yeah. So so the and he gets one step before that. So that's what what he was what he was using as a reference. That was my reference mix or whatever. My limited mix. Uh, it just depends, man. The limiter sometimes is doing two dB, sometimes a dB and a half, sometimes four dB. So mm. it would be whatever that is underneath that. I, I don't really look at the levels on the pre-master. I just know what my limited version is hitting, and yeah. uh, that like it's just, what whatever the limiter is doing. He 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 kind of works one step behind that. So you, you're giving him uh, as a reference a version with a little yeah, bit yeah, of limiting, yeah. but it's but it's rarely more than four dB. It's usually just a couple. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually one or two, like maybe like okay. The reason I would get it to four is if. If I've like mixed the whole record and then I fucking listen to the rough mix and uh, like I'm abing the rough mix and the rough mix is like crazy loud and I'm like shit and like instead of like trying to like rebuild everything that's just the quick easy thing, um, so and that happens from time to time. There, there's this record that recently I did and the rough mix was, was like six luffs or some shit. It was just like fried, um, and we like oh I uh, it was like I Skrillex remember. mixes. Yeah, yeah. I, I opened it up a bit and still like I, I got them the effect they were going for. They really liked it, so it worked out. Mm. Yeah. It's funny it's funny how much people ask that question. I don't for some reason I don't think it's as important as everybody else thinks it is. I maybe maybe I you yeah, agree. I yeah, I definitely don't. Like I like like we we kinda every now and then like 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 Laporta would be like like he, 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 he did call me on one and he was like like this particular one that we did like last year and he was like uh, it's hitting really good it feels good let's try to like emulate this for further stuff and stuff like that because like we know what it sounds like but at the end of the day it's always like what it sounds like cross DSP because that's like that's the biggest thing you don't want to like when you try to get too loud like DSP will choke it and then you, you, don't, you don't want your song to come on and sound like a lot softer than other ones you know it just that's that's just yeah, and that's like, a and that's a crazy topic, which it seems like nobody really has a handle on just yet of what each of the what each of the streaming services are are doing to turn down records, and then which ones have normalization on as a default or not as yeah. that's that's a whole crazy See, thing. Which I'm, I actually really like the way Title sounds. So I like pretty much only listen to Title. Okay, uh, but that's like what everybody you know, says, I haven't used it actually. Title, bro, it's a game changer. You and you have okay. PMC and you have PMC mod. Like that's the thing. In in a studio, only listen to title. You really can tell the difference. 